this is gonna be so dumb. <gasps> Hello, everybody. Welcome to what is going to be Resident Evil Village. It is finally here. My name is Raisin Brand. So, if we remember our good old lovely protagonist, Ethan Winters, from the good old Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, from when we had to go to Dolby, Louisiana, and had to go to the Baker Estate, save our wife Mia from the clutches of Evelyn and everybody else that was there. Oh, it was such a grand old time. Now... This supposedly is a continuation of what happens within the Resident Evil timeline right after Biohazard for Ethan Winters here and Mia and all that good stuff. So there have been a lot of things said about this game and I'm just going to go ahead, shut up and get right to it because we are going to do... Fantastic. I think that's pretty much good. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Would you like to watch a recap of the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard story? For those of you that have not seen any footage and gameplay, I'm just going to go ahead and showcase this recap. Because again, for me, it's been a little bit of a long time since I've played Resident Evil 7. It was one of the first playthroughs that I have done for Where this um, channel. So... If you would like to see my playthrough of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, I will drop that playlist it's in Ethan. the description below. Ethan as well as the playlist for Resident it's Evil 2 and 3. The Baker house. So let's just, yeah, let's watch. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. Yes. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. <laughs> you mean Dolby? <laughs> Silly old Ethan. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. No. With she that... attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Yeah, uh-huh. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Mm-hmm. She cut off your hand, too, with a chainsaw. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote. A vaccine, anything. <sighs> yep. Oh. Yep. The people I... who lived there were already infected. <clears throat> what was left of them wasn't human. No, not at all. Not at all. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Oh, Evelyn. <laughs> Her name was Evelyn. Yes, I remember you. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. <laughs> By granny. Yes, I remember all of that. Ah, oh, such good memories. <clears throat> then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Mm-hmm. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. Yeah, that's fine, Ethan. It's all over now. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Just going to go ahead and get ourselves going with Village. Oh. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Of course she did. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Mm -hmm. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Then the pet oh. lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Oh. Come, child. When she was thirsty, said. No, so don't. she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Why would you do that? Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. Oh. The girl was shivering oh, in good. her thin clothes. Oh. And, a dark appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Of Come, course. Child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, 
hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Oh. How then unfortunate. Then the fish king appeared oh. and offered one of his many fins. Come, child. Eat your fill. So the girl ate. And How many things are you going to eat slash drink from more. animals? Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Oh my god. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. How many animals are you going to meet? nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. Oh. The horse grew angry and summoned the mm. other monsters. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't take things. Terror filled the girl's heart <clears throat> as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Oh. Let me guess, the child died? Gifts we gave, but more you took, she oh. snarled. So more in turn is due. Oh. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Is that Mia? There. She's asleep. I was with the creepy story. She's only six months old. I know. What the hell? It's traditional. A <clears throat> little tale. Uh huh. I find that Besides, BS. Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. <laughs> we moved her so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that. Remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. Wow. Not... Mia, no, I'm calm I'm yourself. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. See, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ethan. Go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. Aw, such a pretty little baby. Mia, you seem a little paranoid right now. What the hell, man? It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. I mean, who can? I mean, after all the shit that she's been through, like, you know, it's like, oh Did my you gosh. say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Will you stop? I'm talking to my audience. God. All right, let me just walk. Middle Miss Baby Little Rosie Roo to bed. Oh, it's so cute. All right. Oh, you're fine, Miss Man. Hey, it's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. It is too scary for you. I don't know why. Your mom's so crazy. Your mom is so crazy cool. You're such a crazy little lady reading you crazy bedtime stories. Oh, this is not your bed. That's the bathroom. Silly little daddy. Daddy was trying to find your bedroom, and he found the bathroom. <laughs> Silly old me. All right, let's see if your bedroom is over here, little Miss Princess. Oh, this is a messy room indeed. I don't think this is your bedroom. Hmm. Where is your bedroom? Hmm. Has Daddy forgot his layout of the house already? Almost Whoa. there, honey. Oh. This must be your bedroom. Oh. Look how big it is. Oh, this is our bedroom too. I see. We are sharing. Because you know what, Rose? Sharing is caring. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and put you to bed, sweetheart. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Oh, you're so Daddy cute. Don't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Yeah. Such a silly little baby. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> so cute. All right. I will let you sleep. I'm going to go in here because I noticed this door was open. Oh, examine. February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and could bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Interesting. So basically, that showcases that this game takes place three years after the incidents of Biohazard. Which, if you pretty much think about it, I think, you know, before we knew that, 
you know, the pandemic was going to, like, become a thing. I think this game was originally set to be released back in 2020. And Biohazard came out in 2017. So that would have been, coincidentally, three years after the making of Biohazard there. But, obviously, with the pandemic becoming a thing and all of that, things had to be pushed back. Including this game's release, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. So... Let's take a look at this <laughs> scrap. Oh, look at us. We got married. Mia's so happy. Look at the sonograms. And oh my goodness, Mia being in labor. And Rose being born. Oh my goodness. So, so happy. Oh I my could stay like this gosh. For... That is so cute. Look at the little outfit it's wearing. Oh my god. This is such a baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is such a happy family. Yet, I feel like it's going to be... Oops, sorry. Daddy's just taking a turn for the worst. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I should probably shut all the doors that, you know, I opened. Because, you know, Daddy, Daddy is just being a bit too silly right now. So we should probably just go back downstairs. See what Mia's up to right now. She seems a bit paranoid with things. Mia! Mia, are you cooking in the kitchen? Oh, you are. Ooh, such a lovely gourmet kitchen we have. Oh, my goodness. So nice. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. <laughs> it's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Oh. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. Jeez. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> have I been sulking? You really have to stop worrying. Worry about what? It's just finding you in Louisiana. The pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> What? Mia, get down. What the hell? Mia, oh God. What? Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Excuse me! What the hell? You better fucking explain, Whoa, Chris move. Redfield. You better fucking explain what the hell. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. What? I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Rose. Get him out here. I am so fucking confused. Why the fuck did you just shoot Mia and kill her like that? What the fuck? Because, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'll talk later. I just need to go through what the fuck is this. You have some fucking explaining to do. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? 
We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Okay, so they mentioned something about the pregnancy possibly when Mia was found at the Baker estate. Are you telling me that she was pregnant while she was there? And did that happen before she went on her cruise excursion and then ended up there? Or did that happen when she was at the Baker estate? She was also technically gone from the Baker estate for three years before Ethan came to find her. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? Not Bitch, I don't fucking care. Give me some goddamn answers. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. What the hell is going on? Can someone explain to me? What the hell happened to you? Yeah, you're telling me, dude. I don't fucking know. I really don't fucking know what's going on. Let me read this. Excuse me. Mission objectives. Eliminate tar target. Recover Barty. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. More than two winters is to site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Eliminate target. What in the what in fresh hell? It the the phone is useless. Uh. Well. Okay. Can't go in the car there. Jesus Christ. Like. Can s what the fuck is happening? Can someone explain to me what's going on? Oh god, am I gonna be like that little girl in the in the story of the village of something? I've already forgot the name of the childhood story. That's already creepy. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. Is something gonna come pop out at me from the woods? Oh, how delightful. How exciting. Oh, great. Just embrace it all. Embrace the joyous all that is this forest here. Quoting from Outlast 2 here. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this is how we're gonna start things off. Okay. Cool. I'm hip. I'm down. Ew, barbed wire. Careful. You're gonna cut yourself. Careful. You need to be careful around these parts. Oh. 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 Something. Something big is a stimp stomping out there. Oh, how ominous you are. Ooh. Okay. Oh. It growls too! Oh, I didn't even see the dead birds in front of me. Oh, this is going to be so <gasps> I thought that was something like right in front of me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't start me off this early. Oh, 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 oh. oh, man. I literally thought something caught me, but it was just these dead carcass birds. <laughs> Fucking... Uh, God. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> like, I already don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what is even happening. But yeah, this is already delightful. It's already setting us in the mood in these woods. I don't even know where I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see how it is, buddy. Alright, let's just move on for... Ooh! Is this a river and a bridge? Yes, it is. Let's just progress on forward because I want to do so. Ew, am I coming up to a house? Oh, this looks lovely. Hello. Hello, my name is Ethan Winters. 
Hello. Can I enter thy establishment? Thanks. Thanks. Can I, like, shut this? No. Okay, cool. Do you have any booze I can drink? No? Okay, cool. I'm hip. I'm down. Let's see. What do you have here? All right, let me open thy drawer. Oh. Rope? I close that. All right, let me see. Sinky soup. Turn on the water? No. Your plumbing is uh, is not working. I wanted to wash my face after the, what I just witnessed, you know. <laughs> but I couldn't. Is something going to pop out from the, the dark? Because, ooh la la. How exciting. <laughs> Such a cliche, this game. <laughs> Don't start me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. In here, please. Mm. How exciting. Can I see what's even down here? Ooh, a hairbrush. Maybe I need to redo my hair. You know, after everything, I'm just... Okay. We're just gonna make random ass noises. I mean, that's how it was in Resident Evil 7. I'm okay with it. I'm used to it. Oh, of course. There's always stairs that always go down into the pits of hell. Why not? Let's just go embrace it. I I'm totally down for this. <laughs> Sign me the fuck up. Oh, yes. Embrace the lord of it all. <laughs> embrace the glory of the ominous basement. All right, let me just see. Ooh, ooh. I can zoom in now. <laughs> what even is this? What even is this? Uh, I hate that that's like the zoom in button now. Okay, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> oh. Huh. Oh. What is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? Why am I even in this basement? Can someone explain to me? Why why did I even have the audacity to go in this household down the basement and to find this? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be finding here? What's my objective? I don't even know. Oh. You watch. Something's gonna be right behind me. Such a cliche, these games. I'm gonna tell you right now. Something's behind me. No? Alright, cool. I thought it was gonna be a... Cool. I seriously thought that this game was gonna be a cliche for like a hot minute. And... good should i be concerned i think the answer is yes ew i'm gonna throw some garlic at it <laughs> okay let's see uh-oh uh... oh of course <laughs> are you serious Okay, I'm not even moving. It's moving for me. Oh, ew. Is that my blood? What the hell? What did all this? Oh, now you ask that question. Now you ask that question. After going down the ominous basement, now you ask this question to yourself. Ethan Winters, you do not surprise me. My goodness. Oh, I don't have to push any buttons. Nice. Nice. All right. Cool. Let's just go up this wintry wasteland. Why don't we? <laughs> At least there's daylight now. That's good. That's reassuring. Oh, uh, how? Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Where the hell am I? I don't know, but that is beautiful. Oh, my. That is quite an aesthetic. I love it. Okay, bye, Mr. Crow. Bye. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, this is quite lovely. This is so beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Don't have to groan every time. Oh. Oh. 
Something got that horse. Oh, my. All right, well, I'm at another house. Am I going to go inside another ominous basement? I'm hip. I'm down. All right, let me just shut that just in case something's coming after me. Hello? Oh. <laughs> something just... I don't know if you just saw that, but something just ran by through that door crack. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you even run to? Are you hiding in the barrel? See, that's... Ugh, okay. See, that makes no sense. You have something that runs to that direction, and then there's, like, nothing there. Like, did he hop over the roof? I don't know. That makes no fucking sense. All right. Hold on. I'm seeing if there's anything fun inside this barn. No, just nothing but blood and handcuffs. Oh, how exciting. Do not enter. I have a pretty good feeling that I am going to want to enter in this. Yes. I'm going to probably want to enter there, even though it says do not enter. So, we're going to find something to break open that. Probably bolt cutters that's probably that's a res, that's a that's a resident evil um type item that i would need to find you know oh there's that symbol again what does that mean can someone explain what that what does that mean i just want to know what the symbol means all right i'm gonna go this way maybe there's someone with Someone who lives here that could possibly help me. Oh. I'm gonna just slightly jog my way over to here. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's see. Let's go through here, over yonder. Oh, wait a minute. Haven't I been here? I have been here. Where does this lead? Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah, maybe they're out after their place has been torn to shit? Who knows, man? Oh my goodness. Those eggs were not spilled before. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, the horse is gone! Oh, that's even better! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. The horse is missing. <laughs> there should be, you know, some sign of concern. Oh, uh, like, oh, I probably shouldn't be here. Oh, look at all. Oh, that's all goat heads. Oh, how delightful. What happened? First we had the reeves of buzz saws. Now we have goat heads just dangling. Oh, how delightful. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's just continue to progress our way through because again, I don't know what is to be expected from this. Hmm. Ah, see, I think we need bolt cutters because there's another gate. Ew, that's a fancy symbol. Oh. Hi, Mr. Chicken. How are you? You must be so nice. Hope you don't die. All right. <clears throat> Let's just progress our way. Ooh. Ooh. A knife. A knife. Beautiful. I have a knife now. Suck it. Did they just run out of the house? Probably. Is that the stew, like, what Mia was making for me? Maybe. Ooh, open. Who's behind the curtain? Who's behind the No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Oh, I'm so sorry! Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who? Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please no. tell me you have a gun. No. No, why would I? Something's there. 
Take it! Take it, man. Are we gonna get rabid dogs? Hey, are you listening? Hey! What the? Shit! Oh! Oh! No, I'm not skipping game. Come on! I want to see these cutscenes. Oh. A dead body? Yes, it's a dead body. Good observation, Wait, Ethan. There's more. Oh. Yes, another good observation. Oh, how delightful. Oh, how exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Oh my. What the hell is wrong with this place? I don't know, man. Who? Huh. What the fuck is that? Hi. I'm I'm not even. What the fuck are you? Oh my god! What the fuck was that? My poor hand! What the fuck? No. I'm gonna shoot this motherfucker. Get away from me. Yo! Bye. Bye. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Did I get him? What the hell? Uh, uh, I'm gonna teabag you so hard. Uh, I got you good. <laughs> oh my god. Why even are you? Oh my god. Well, that tells you how bad my aim's gonna be in this game. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. Do I have like a yes I do. Ah, nice. Ooh. Chem fluid? Oh boy, we're doing this same again. Haha. <laughs> An herb. Oh my gosh. Nope, wrong thing. Ah, yes. Alright, where's the How do how do I open inventory? Oh, I see. I see. Ooh, items have you crap. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Oh. Rusted scrap. Oh, they changed the formula. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's so much bigger now. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. Cool. I know how to do things. Ooh, family photo. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see this family. Oh, my wife and my daughter. Oh my good, I, I, I hate how this can just zoom in now. But that's gorgeous. But my wife's now dead, for real this time. So it's like, like what, what in fresh hell? Oh, see. I need, I need actual bolt cutters. All right, cool. Let me see if I can find them for you real quick. Hold on just a second. So there's something like, you know, in, in here. No, okay. See, I'm trying to think. It's probably back in the house if I do say so myself. No, no. Now when I hear fools, who would have thunked it? Bolt cutters, bitch. All right, amazing. I have bolt cutters now. Let's go ahead and use those suckers. Such a typical item to find within a Resident Evil game, bolt cutters. 
How exciting. Alright, I only have three bullets. This is not gonna bode well. Oh my gosh. And I am playing this on the PlayStation 5. So, you know, getting, you know, used to, like, these new controllers and such, it's gonna, t it's taking some time for me to get used to all of that. How exciting. Okay. Oh, I can barricade doors with sh- Ooh! Let me try that. Oh, nice. But yeah, my poor hand! Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Ooh. Oh. We're not alone, are we? <laughs> okay. Um, hold on just a sec. Oh, I thought that was... Alright, we should probably go up the stairs. Ugh. Careful. Careful. Don't need to make a dramatic scene about that. Oh. Ooh, more chem fluid. Bless. Alright, let's see. Shit! Sh shit balls. No! No! Eh. I don't know how I feel about this. I just wanted bullets. Motherfucker. Alright, fine. I'll leave. Good go. So then how do you want me to play this then? If I'm surrounded. <laughs> okay. Let's just pr pr uh. Uh. Oh, shit! Oh. Get off me! I'm gonna shoot you with some good. No, no, no! You bitch! Yeah, bitch! Get off me! Oh, nice! You can just pour it on! Bitch! Oh, nice! Ooh, I don't know what that is. Is it over? <sighs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here, please. Oh, wrong way. Jesus. Alright. I got the long way. I hope we're okay with this. Oh, is there something in here? No? Alright. God. Jeez. What the hell is with this place? Alright. There may be more. Oh! 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 Hello! How we doing on this fine day, gentlemen? Don't mind me. I'm just gather. Oh, okay. I bored them with my conversation. I'm just gonna progress on way th through. Oh, I should probably get a move on. Who should probably run? No. Ooh, robust scrap. Okay. Survive the attack? Shh. 
Shit. Survive the attack! Ugh. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm just gonna stay put. I think that's fine with me. I'm just gonna stay. Shit! Bitch! Ooh! Ooh! I'm gonna shoot your pelvis! I'm gonna shoot your penis! Uh. Ow. Man, it! I'm just gonna run. Bye! Oh, no good! To them. Bye! Pick it up, pick it up, please! Oh! Oh, it's flammable. Yes! Hey, up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder. Yay! They're just very anxious. What the hell is even happening? I don't even know. Oh, hello. Ooh! You have a knife! Bitch. Oh, my. Why do you all have weapons? No. Why do you have an axe? Get... Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. Bye. I have no bullets. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, hold on. Hold on one second. Oh, of course. I have nothing. Ow! That hurt me. Yeah, you're kidding me. Bye. Bye. What in tarnation is you? Excuse me. For crying out loud. What even? <laughs> Get through! Damn it! Bitch! Ow! I don't even know where I'm going! Get off me! Okay. Ooh, crystal skull. Yay! I found a treasure. Hi! Eee. You seem like fun. You seem like you're a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming go the way that, you know, the big boy with the sledgehammer was from. Oh shit, this way. Fuck! Oh, how exciting. Okay, I'm just gonna... Bye! Oh, I've... I've cornered myself. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Bring around the rosy. Duh. I'm gonna go through here. I hope we're fine with this. Yeah, I... Alright. Bring around the rosies! Ouch. No. 
I have... Oh! Ow. Like, look at that! What the fuck? Like, how do you recover from that? Oh, you just magically happen to have a bandage on you. Oh. Wait, wait. Wait, what, man? Wait, come back! Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm assuming I need a key that looks like that. Wait, who are you? Come back! In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? <laughs> you shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. Hi. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. <laughs> she is in great danger. Oh. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> okay. I guess I'm gonna look for Rose now? Cool. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna really quickly just... Oh my god, look. There's the symbol again. What does that represent? What does that mean? From there. Oh, great lichens. The fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Interest, like, oh my. Like, this is all right. I just have so many questions as to, I'm assuming you want a lockpick for that. And I just have to find a lockpick somewhere. Cool. I got you. I just don't know where you want me to find a lockpick in this godforsaken place. All right. So hold on. Hold on. I just need to ask questions here about some things like who in the heckity who are those wolves like i'm just gonna be really really clear here because apparently this is just i i'm just so utterly confused i'm just so utterly confused as to everything that has been going on thus far i thought i was going to be a happy father being with my wife mia and my daughter rose we're going to live our best lives forever and ever and it was going to be great it was going to be lovely now you're telling me you shot my wife mia chris and now my daughter rose has been taken to the castle that is there with mother miranda and apparently mother miranda if i recall from seeing trailers for this game for you know, like the hype and everything like she's the very tall lady she's the very tall lady i'm assuming so we're just going to speculate on that and we'll get to more of that in the next episode because this is where i'm going to end this one right here this is crazy enough as it is. I just have so many questions already as to what in the hell is going on with everything in this game. Why was I being chased by all of those werewolves? What, like, what even were those things? And what was the big hefty bifty boy that looked like Santa Claus and he just had a big old hammer? Like, like, excuse me, like, the fuck? Like, I don't know what is going on. I just need answers please. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this episode right here. So 
Thank you so much for watching the very first episode of what's going to be my playthrough of Resident Evil Village. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And again, just a couple things before I end this episode real quick. If you would like to see me do some playthroughs of other Resident Evil games that I have touched, I will leave playlist links in the description below for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is the prequel to this game right here. I will also leave links for Resident Evil's 2 and 3, which were the remakes that were done in the past couple of years. I will drop those in the playlist below in case you want to see some other Resident Evil games as well that I have currently played. And also, going back to really quickly before I ended here, um, talking about Mia being pregnant. It was not mentioned that she was pregnant back in Biohazard in Resident Evil 7. It was not mentioned at all. And remember, she was there at the Baker Estate for three years after that whole incident with the bow before Ethan came to find her. So that means that she was pregnant and impregnated by some sort of mysterious force. I don't know what. It just sounds like that that's the case during her time at the Baker Estate. And we just didn't know about it until now, pretty much. Like, she had been pregnant the entirety of Resident Evil 7. Just, we didn't witness that at all. But we were told that in this. So that's very interesting. So clearly something rose that Chris Redfield is, you know, drawn upon with, I believe, at this point in time, the Umbrella Corporation? I don't know. Like, again, so many things are being speculated right now. Rose may potentially have something inside of her that maybe could bring a little bit of a throwback to, like, you know, what, Evelyn? And that bioweapon was, like, all about? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm making a bunch of guesses right now, and that's just what we're going to speculate with until we progress our way forward through this game so with all of this in mind as for right now this has been raisin brand thank you so much once again for watching the very first episode of what is going to be resident evil village and i shall see you in the next video